bus driver. Look at how he just embarrassed me today. Ah, this country is so hard. Ah, Abigail. 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 My baby, what's wrong? Is it about your school fees? I told you. I will try to borrow the money from a friend. How long? What do you mean, how long? Mom, how long is this going to keep happening? How long are we going to keep deceiving ourselves? Tell me, is there even a God? Uh, don't speak like that, Abigail. Like what? Are you forbidding me from speaking the truth? Abigail, you're about to start to blaspheme. And that is not what we do. That is not what Christians do. <laughs> Christians? Little Christ? Children of God? Mom, tell me, when Jesus himself was on this earth and he prayed to his invincible father in heaven, did he turn his back on him and his numerous prayers? No, he answered all his prayers. So what is it that I'm missing here? Is the God that you serve not the same God that Jesus served? So then this God must have a double standard where he lavishes abundant gifts on his, some of his children and then the rest... He just turns his back on them. Abigail, don't speak like that. Mom, you, you pray, you fast, you give tithes and offering, you sow. Mom, you praise more than anybody I know. Yet, among all of our family and friends, we're the poorest. We're the least progressive. We're the bottom of the barrel. Abigail, my baby, don't talk like that. Mom, other people, when they pray, they get their harvest. Just like that. They come to the altar at the church and they dance. They tell of all the new things that God has done for them. But us, us, our story is always different. Mom, we have to pray fast, so cry out just to have a normal life. In the past five years, tell me, what do we have to testify about? Abigail, we are alive and well. That is enough to testify about. So are the prostitutes on the street. Ah. Everybody's alive. Ah. What else is new? Abigail. Abigail. Mom, what I know in life is based off of what I've seen. And from what I've seen, God has changed. Eh? Blasphemy. How dare you talk about our God like that? Abigail, have you forgotten that this is the same God that was with us? That brought us into this country where we were in Nigeria and people accused me of killing your father. Have you forgotten, Abigail, that this is the same God that said he would never leave us nor forsake us? My baby, have you forgotten the dream that you had oh. when God told you that you were going to be great? No. You're talking about that dream where he told me that I would be great in this land? Yes. Where he told me that I would have a scholarship for school yes. and still nothing? Yes. That God, that God is still our God. <laughs> He's still your God. No. <laughs> no. Your God, eh? not mine, ah. not anymore. Abigail. No, I refuse to believe in a God who has turned his back on his word. Ah. Mom, the Bible is just a storybook to me now. Are you kidding me? Mom, you tell me not to commit adultery, yet the ones who are out there doing so, they're the same ones getting married on time, having children, settling down in life, while me, who has kept her body pure since birth, has not even been seen by a single man. Mom, don't you want me to marry? I do. Don't you want grandchildren? I do, my baby. Don't you want to see us multiply? I do. So then let's stop pretending like purity is something of value to hold on to. Ah, happy girl. And three years in school, still no scholarship. I'm done trusting in this God. Let me go out there and live my life for myself. Eh? You want to go out there and live like the people out there? You want to go out there, Abigail, and live like a sinner without a conscience? Yeah, yeah, like them. Let me go out there. Let me go out there, have sex with men, married or unmarried. Let me cheat. Let me smoke. Let me drink. Let me do everything else that they're doing. It's been successful for them. If God isn't going to help me, then let me help myself. Abigail, don't talk like that, my daughter. <laughs> Abigail, he sees our struggles. Abigail, he sees us. Abigail.
What are you wearing? Where are you going? Mom, if God isn't going to help me, I have to go and help myself. I'm Abigail! Desperate. Abigail! You mean I cannot talk to you like your mother? Abigail! Do the vision series. Let's wait for it, Abigail. No, Mom. You wait for it. I don't have time to waste anymore. Ha! Huh. Abigail! My baby! My baby! Hey! Hey! Hey, God! 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 Why does why is things going like this for me, God? Why does it seem like you are forsaking me, my God? Why does it seem that I, I am being put to shame? God, I have served you all my life. I dedicated my life to your service. Why does it seem like the wicked are prospering? Why those who have faith in you are being put to shame? God, you prayed, made promises to me. You told me you would never leave me nor forsake me. You told me you would grant me abundant blessings. Why does it seem like you have left me and my daughter? We have been in this country for so many years. We have no papers. We don't even, my daughter has not been able to finish school. She has been in school for a long time. <laughs> things are just hard. Things are just difficult. <laughs> God, why? I trust in you. Why are you putting me to shame, God, in front of my child? Ah, Oluwa, if truly, if truly you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, rise up and fight for me. Rise up and fight for my daughter. God, I trust you. And I know that you will not put me to shame. Ah, hey, protect my daughter, God. Protect her. You did it for Sarah. You did it for Rachel in the Bible. I know that you will do it for me, God. My baby, what's wrong? What's wrong with you, my baby? Here, yeah, you want water? What's wrong, baby? Thank you, thank you. What's wrong, baby? Oh. What happened? Mom, after I left here yesterday, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I went to my friend Rachel's house, mm -hmm. you know, the one from school, mm -hmm. and, you know, she asked me, she told me that she's going to her friend's birthday party, and she asked me if I wanted to go with her. Mm -hmm. So I said, sure, why not? So she gave me some clothes to wear. She even gave me money to spend on drinks. Mm -hmm. Anyway. We ended up getting to the club around 11.30. Eh? 11.30 at night. Abigail, you are going to a club at 11.30 at night. Mom, let me finish. Okay. Uh -huh. So, when we finally get there, you know, she introduces me to all of her friends. Uh -huh. And so, there was this one guy, you know, that kind of stood out to me. Huh. And oh. so, we started talking. Mm -hmm. He bought me drinks. And then... We started dancing, and then all of a sudden, he just starts to put his hands all over me. So I pushed him away. I told him to stop, and then I walked away. So then, like an hour later, he comes back, and then he grabs my hand and tells me that I owed him for all the drinks that he bought me. Yes. So I told him, okay, I have the money that Rachel gave me that I could give it to him. But then he said, that's not the type of repayment that he's talking about. So then he grabs my arm and then he picks me up and he starts to carry me out of the club. Ah. So because I was tipsy, I really couldn't coordinate myself properly. Ah. Hey, and where was this your silly friend when all this was happening? She passed out somewhere. I don't. You went out to somebody that passed out, Abigail. I mean, she was drunk. Any anyway, hey. so when I get outside of the club, right, I, I start to fight him off, mm -hmm. and luckily some people come to help me get away from him. So then uh, Gregory, Rachel's friend, she, he offers to give me a ride home. Mm -hmm. So while we're in his car, all of a sudden, I just started feeling nauseous and I just started throwing up like, oh, oh, like all over the place. So then he gives me some water to drink. And then after that, I don't know what happened. I just blacked out. Eh? You blacked out? Can you bed? What do you mean you blacked out? I don't know. I, I think I fainted. I don't you know. fainted, Abigail, in the stranger's car. Hey. Mom, let me finish. Yeah, still more to this story. Yes. Uh -huh. So, so before I blacked out, well, I'll get to that part later. So, all of a sudden, when I woke up, 
I was in his bed and he just started taking off my clothes. Hey, what's it rape? Hey, mom, mom. Eh? So, so when I woke up, I remembered Rachel telling me a story. She, she said that Greg earlier that night had looked healthier than she remembered seeing him from the last time. So I pulled her to the side and I said, what are you talking about? So she told me that Gregory had hepatitis C. Yeah. And that he actually had been in the hospital recently ah. for an outbreak. He almost died. Hey. So when I woke up, that was the first thing I remembered. I reached over the bed, I grabbed the lamp stuff, and I just swung and hit him over the head. And then I just jumped up, grabbed my stuff, and I ran. Ah. Did he die? I don't know. <laughs> you think I had time to see if he died? I grabbed my stuff and I ran for my life. Hey. And anyway, I got to Rachel's house. I told her the entire story. Then I grabbed my stuff and I came all the way here back home. Hey. So you're okay? Nothing I'm happened fine. to you? Ah, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, big girl. Hi, big girl. Do you see what happens when you leave the shelter of the Almighty God? Yeah, I mean, God, <laughs> if He exists, definitely saved me from disaster. Hi, big girl. Hi, big girl. You know that God exists. You know deep down in your heart that we serve a living and true God. But mom, we still need miracles. Hey. I need a new job. I need scholarship money for school. And let's not even talk about settling down with a decent guy. Yes, but all that will come in time, Abigail. I trust God. I trust him. All things work together for good for those that... Tr oh, I'm coming. I think that's the person that I'm coming. Good, good afternoon. Morning. Come in, come so, in. Abigail? Yes, she's on. Come in. Abigail, this person came for you earlier to see you. Jay? Hi, what are you Abigail. doing here? How did you get my address? Well, I mean, there are ways around that. Um, okay. Like I actually it? came earlier, but your mom said you weren't here, so I decided to come back again. Okay. Can yeah. I sit down? Anything sure. to drink? Anything? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Mom. I will leave you to be for a little Okay. Have, have a seat. Thank you. So you sure you don't want anything to drink or anything? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Wait. Did I fail my final exam? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to repeat my class. No, um, it's, no it's, it's not that. It's actually not what you did wrong. It's what you did right. So in the last exam, your scores were the best in the class. Really? Yeah. I mean, Professor, Professor Jeffrey was so surprised. Uh, he was going to fail you because he thought you cheated. No. But, you know, I, I assured him that it was impossible to cheat because I made sure I was in there. Yeah. <laughs> your exam rules are so strict. <laughs> Nobody could cheat on your exam. Well, I'll actually take that as a compliment. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I've been thinking, I'm going to be leaving uh, after this semester, and Professor Jeffrey has been looking for a replacement for me. And I recommended you uh, for the position. Oh, my goodness. Are you, me? Yeah, like, it's okay. Uh, I know it, it's a lot to ask, but if you take this position, it comes with a full tuition, full room and board, everything. You even get a monthly stipend. I mean, it's, everything is included into it. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> this, this, this is too good to be true. No, no, no. Oh, it is, no. it is true. All, all you have to do is say yes. I That's mean, <laughs> this is everything that I <laughs> ask God yeah, for I mean, more. And <laughs> again, there are some of the things that you need to know. You do plan to go for your master's, right? Well, yeah, but I don't really have any money and I'm Yeah, but qualified. see, that's the thing. Professor Jeffrey is well connected. One letter from him, and you can go to any school that you want for every expense paid. I mean, it's, it's everything there. <laughs> and what? your scores were, your scores been so impressive. Professor Jeffrey, when I recommended you to him, he said, and, and he agreed. So all you have to do is accept it, and you will be in school on Monday, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you have to formally accept the position and everything will be everything. Of course, this is everything that I wanted for more. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, <sighs> um, Okay. well, I need to go back now. Um, I'll see you on Monday. Sure, yeah. Okay. <sighs> thank you, Jesus. Oh, actually. 
So uh, what, what will you be doing over the next weekend? Um, I don't have any plans. I was just thinking, you know, um, see, I know this nice restaurant. We can just go there and just, just talk a little bit. Sure, you know. sure. That's okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'll pick you up on Saturday. Then. Okay. All right. All right, bye. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Mom, I have good news. Waiting on you, waiting on you, waiting on you, so that you can deliver and show yourself strong in my life. As I come into your presence, Lord, I reverence you. You are the Holy One. So I lay my burdens at your feet, like you said we should do. And I'll give you rest. I give my all, surrender.